Hello my lovely Libras, thank you so much for tuning in to your monthly reading with me Laurie it's an absolute pleasure to bring you these readings every month and this is going to be a general reading for May. Um, now these readings, as they are general readings, they are for Libra Sun, Moon and Rising sign. So if you are Libra Moon, Libra Rising or Libra Sun, you may want to check out the other aspects of your chart just for more rounded view of actually what's happening for you this month. I am available for private readings if you'd like to have one with myself and also as always the details as to how to support me every month on Patreon is down below. Okay so let's see, now we do start the month of May with Mercury coming out of retrograde, um, thanks the Lord for that and um, hopefully it will be smooth sailing after we come out, but we will still have a little bit of lingering, maybe until the 10th of May, because um, I believe it comes out of Mercury retrograde on the 5th, but there still be some kind of shadow aspects um, on from that. So let's see, today we're going to be using the Taramuka, or Mucha, by Los Carabeo. This was the last deck I bought for myself. I haven't bought any in a few months now. Um, I don't think... I'm kind of feeling that I need one for summer, but I kind of also think that um, these are absolutely fine for now. They are they are still working for me, so let's have a look. Right, the number three is coming up immediately. Now, I don't know whether this is... Um, three weeks three days three months but the number three very strong it's kind of like the creation three it's the three of the personal creativity it's the movement that you need as far as i can feel here so let's have a look and see oh nice now i will hold these up to the camera for you as well oh these are lovely Okay, I am going to do a rune um, towards the end just to see what we can have a look here for you. All right, so you have the Six of Pentacles, the King of Pentacles, the Ten of Rods or Wands, and the Four of Rods or Wands. So really it feels as though you have quite a big focus on your creativity, your energy, but also how you practically apply that. Um, Actually, the word practical keeps repeating to me now. It's so kind of like I said it and there was an echo. So I would say that there, there are things that you need to be practical about this month. Saying something to do with houses. Um, also saying that there's there got to be a lot of circumspect. They're using big words and it's too early in the day. <laughs> um, yeah, so yeah, there's got to be something that's here they keep pointing to this so i'm just going to start with the king of pentacles now the king of pentacles is obviously the surmount of the pentacle tribe if you will um he is the culmination of all the lessons learned within the pentacles as far as i can see here he means a lot of you will be dealing with i don't know just financial security for me he does represent an actual person represents an actual person for many of you um okay virgo taurus or capricorn who may have been in your past coming back to sort things out with you could be a person of this influence who's coming back just to give you a little bit of an elemental help with the earth and the grounding of things and actually making sure that you see things from a logical point of view treating things from a very practical manner having to see things from the kind of emotional standoffish point if that makes sense I don't even know if that, that's the word but it's kind of like where you stand back and you have to look at things from a very literal view rather than an intuitive or emotional view that's what's coming up here mainly um Actually, his gaze does change when I, when I'm looking at him here. It's like he's looking at the camera. 
I don't know whether you can see, but he's actually staring at the pentacle. Money is very poignant to you this month and I actually think that you could be investing finances you could be investing time into making sure your finances are secure stable all that kind of I'm getting a lot of horse nobility here so it's very much kind of like what the horse represents stability nobility um reassurance sometimes people can maybe see you as aloof this month um because you're kind of making sure that your needs are met here um but the six of pentacles you know for me just before this happens it could be a little bit of robbing peter to pay paul and having to kind of um divvy up finances before you get to the st stable part so it could be that you're kind of trying to organize how you're going to pay somebody back or just kind of waiting until you have enough to actually pay all those bills i'm not saying that you're going to be struggling too much but i just feel as though there may be something that you really want to save up money for and you may want to make sure that you everything else is cared for um since then if that makes any sense to you at all it's kind of as though you are um working towards something very intricately and uh, very patiently as well um you may have a lot of people who are trying to rely on you a lot this month and they may be like oh I, can i borrow 20 pounds can i borrow something and, and you feel really bad for saying no but you have to look out for yourself here i mean i think that you will be um trying to divide your time between work and what your finances and something else basically these is basically your focus on how you view money how you're going to apply um money and your thing of money here and that seems to be very poignant i mean i'm libra rising so i don't know really um maybe it's if you want to go to some kind of event in may or you're just kind of planning a trip um whatever it is make sure in the first week of may you're kind of not committing to anything big because we're still in mercury retrograde we're still in a lot of planets actually being retrograde so you don't want to give anything away that you won't be able to get back further down the line um you like your time investment of time time can be money so you could say yeah sure i'll spend three days helping you do something here and then when it actually comes to it you could be like oh why did i ask, why did i say that why did i confirm that i was going to do that and speaking of the ten of rods or ten of wands it's a very poignant card for if you do feel like you've taken on too much being sensible and being very logical does not necessarily mean going oh well if i manage to move this out of the way emotionally maybe I'll be able to take on more jobs or take on more responsibility from all my friends and family. That's not what it means. You have to make sure that if you accept any courses, projects, um, if you say, yes, of course, I'll edit this for you, or yes, of course, I'll do this for you, you physically have the time and the energy to do it. You do not want to say, oh yeah, sure, I'll, uh, you know, I'll do this for you. And then you have somebody else coming through and you'll say, oh, yeah, OK, uh, yeah, sure, I'll do that for you. And then somebody else comes around and you go, uh, sure, OK, yeah, I'll do that for you too. You can't physically say yes to everybody and do everything that you've already accepted to do yourself. So you may feel bad for letting some people down. But really, at the end of the day, it's beneficial for you. You can always come back to them and help them with something else further away like maybe in june um but this is a very practical month i think you are feeling the energy of taurus this month and you're probably feeling like you want to get going with stuff but it is about keeping your roots keeping your wits about you don't please don't take on too much because i think it will kind of damage this card here now this actually says that you should be feeling the foundations of what you're actually planning on doing what your um I don't know whether you can see that properly, but it's just like three women prancing around underneath this maypole type setup with loads of flowers, feeling the fruits of their efforts. And to me, this just seems to say that this is community, this is stability, this is friendship, this is actually feeling the rewards of your pragmatism throughout the rest of the month. So you've been very practical, you're trying to get things done and you actually feel the rewards now. Any projects that you've taken on personally or professionally, any responsibilities that you've been trying to do, that will swim away. I don't know why they said swim away, but that will swim away. It's kind of like... um 
if you get somebody offering you work or saying, yes, I would like you, you then have, oh my God, this is a mountain to climb. I need to do this, this application, this application, need to do this, need to, you know, just make it in stages, make to-do lists if you can. But they keep pointing me towards this over here. Now this is a candle, uh, one of my ritual candles that I haven't used yet. I've had it for ages, but it's got a wick on both ends. So I don't know whether you can see, but that's normally the, the end you light. And then this, on the other hand, you've got a little wick there. And what they're trying to say is do not burn your candle at both ends. It will meet in the middle, it will expire, and you won't get half as much time or half as much energy as you want out of it. So please, make sure that you take care of yourself. And I think that's also something that I maybe need to hear too. So let's have a look at the rune. All right, I am gonna close my eyes because I always do when I do rune readings. All right, you were buried at the bottom, so I think. Okay, so, oh, we have Isa. Or Isil, or Isa. Uh, I think it's Isa. This is basically a straight line, and it did come up like that for me. This is challenge. This is reinforcement. This is possibly um, trying to sim out these challenges, and whether they be financial or professional or personal, it just means that you have to look at things, or even love, you know? This, I think, is still applicable to love. Um, like I say in every single reading, I don't necessarily focus on, this is definitely, like, career, this is definitely this, this is the theme of the month that they're trying to get through to you. Um, so you can apply that to even, I don't know, a cat that you want to adopt. I don't know. It's just basically this, you need to make sure that if you accept any position, or if you accept any responsibility, or say, yes, I'll come and visit you, it's not going to cut into any things. It's just, you know, anything anything and this I think is kind of saying reinforce your beliefs in yourself reinforce the time that you have you don't want to be spending ages on I don't know how to put it other people's needs like spending three hours talking to somebody about their boyfriend troubles and then they go off and do whatever it is they were going to do anyway. So you're talking to them again the same day about the same. You know, basically, I think this means that you will have challenges this month. You will have issues to overcome, but it's not actually bad. I can actually see you progressing really well. You've got a great card here, which says celebration. You're actually able to reap the rewards of these efforts that you've had before. You just have to basically look at it in a very practical point of view. And sometimes for Libra, it's practical is boring as hell. Um, you want things to be pretty and nice and flow well. And, you know, I always call Librans or often call Librans my little fairies because you are so light in energy and you're so gifted and laughter and everything. And I do love you. I love Librans. But sometimes it has to be a little bit practical before anything else can come through it. And I don't want to be a bearer of bad news or anything. This is maybe going to be not the most exciting month, but it can only be as exciting as you make it if you actually plan things that aren't going to kind of derail you. And this is basically what it's saying. Um, but to be honest, I'm really interested in to see how you get on. And I really hope that you leave me a comment below. Subscribe and share. And thank you so much for liking. I really do appreciate it. And of course, if you do want access to the additional readings for the month, you can, of course, support me on Patreon down below. And if you'd like a personal private reading, I am available for those. And my website link to all the readings that I do is down below as well. But good luck, Libra. Let me know how you go, as always. I'm really looking forward to seeing what comments I get. And also... Just take care of yourself. Just kind of make sure that you put yourself at number one. But speak to you soon. And yeah, just take care of yourself.